Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Vosphia, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to jump in. Hold up. So it looks nice so far. Yeah, let's, let's do the tutorial first. Let's definitely do the tutorial. Welcome to Vosphia. This will be a basic tutorial showing you the basic mechanics of the game. C to activate the cursor. Okay. Uh, for movement, the default controls are WAS for moving around, spacebar for jumping, and left shift for sprinting. There's also swimming movement, which does the same controls. Uh, okay. In terms of combat, players can use the attack, bind, left mouse button. For basic attacks, for abilities, players will use the ability keys, default Q, F, R, and T. Q, F, R, and T. Sure. Certain items will have durabilities, which will be indicated through a green bar in the item slot. If the green bar runs out, the item will need to be repaired. Got it? Try equipping your made item by pressing num key 1. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is a flawless animation. Can I, can I attack these deer? I cannot. Right. All right, your num key from one to eight will be used to equip items in your hot bar. Press to equip an axe, or three to take out an apple. Um, what is the axe for? For chopping trees? Nope. So I can't swing the axe, but we can we can take out an apple. Love that punch animation. It's like, that's that's what that guy looks like. Like that. That's pretty funny. Alright. Okay. Uh, next. As you explore the world, your hunger and thirst will decrease. Eat various foods and drink water to keep your hunger and thirst bars up. Uh, recommend pausing the game if you have to go AFK. Another system in the game is the building system. When building an item, players will be able to rotate, translate the previews to place structures freely. These binds are Q and E for higher horizontal rotation, R and F for vertical rotation, mouse wheel for moving, and spacebar for setting the changes. You need to build or find certain stations to craft. You can make cooked meat at an oven, whereas you need to go to a crafting station to craft thatch ropes. All right. Fishing is another key system in the game, and you'll be able to fish through crafting a fishing rod and casting it onto a body of ocean. A body of ocean, huh? You can also plant and farm various items on farmlands, which can be made by tilling, uh, by tiling the ground with a hoe. Plants will need water in order for it to stay alive for long periods of time. Sure, this is the basic tutorial of the game. Good luck and have fun. Okay. So we've finished the tutorial. We have defeated, uh, sure. 500 years ago, the great war between the demons and the humans ended through the intervention of a god. The humans were on the brink of extinction, but as the unknown god took part in the war, humans started to win and overpower the demons through the use of magic. <sighs> okay. So, if you're writing, uh history you know if you're trying to give us some glimpse into the history it, look it i can see what you're trying to write here 500 year, years ago the great war between the demons and the humans ended through the intervention of a god cool that's fine probably um yeah with the help of the god the humans uh once on the brink of extinction began to overpower the demons through the use of magic would be the way I would phrase that sentence second sentence I mean I'd probably change the whole thing but whatever after the war the god banished the demon kind to an island where they would be sealed from the outside world through a barrier this barrier is supported by four great trees you wouldn't put a number four in the middle of your words because it's very uh distracting you'd put the word for which the god planted 
The world was at peace until 10 years ago when four demons appeared in the land of the humans and killed many unaware civilians. The demons were eventually subjugated and taken care of, but many families lost their loved ones through this attack. Since the reappearance of the four demons, more demons have been seen throughout the world. Uh, some suspect these appearances are due to the weakening of the tree, as the magical power produced by the tree seems to be decreasing every year. I thought there were four trees. Eight years ago, your father fell victim to a demon attack whilst trying to protect you and your mother during a trip to a nearby city. Will you climb the great trees and figure out the reason for the reappearance of the demons, or will you explore the world and ignore the increasing attacks by the demon kind? The choice is yours. Good luck. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so there is... I don't know why there's a slider. Oh my god. Why is it like this? Ugh. Okay. Yep. I mean, the, the pose there is just... So bad. Okay, so that changes nothing. All right, we'll, we'll just confirm. We'll confirm. We're going to jump in. We haven't played any of the game yet. We've done the tutorial and... Welcome to Vosphia's Early Access. This version of the game does not represent what the completed game will be. If you have any suggestions or reports regarding the content within this game, please visit our Discord. Sure. Much of the content within the game will be revamped before the game's release. In addition, there will be very little to no story within the early access as the purpose for this early access is to obtain feedback on core systems and general gameplay direction. Right. Regardless, I hope you have fun playing this early access. Uh, thank you for playing Vospia. Okay. Sure. We opened the chest. So there's no story other than climbing the tree, I guess. Alright. So we're outside in the town. You need a pickaxe to harvest this item. Right, so that wasn't talking to that guy. That was... Okay. The donation area for the village will greatly help in the expansion and maintenance of the village. Uh, okay. Well, those are weird, uh, those are weird swinging animations. Right, so we can't go into the we can't go into the houses. <laughs> All right, um, so the the town is totally empty. No explanation for that. So not only is there no story, but we're also in a town that's been, I guess, built with uh, nobody living in it. That's really weird. Why does no one live here? Oh, and we've got a stamina bar. That's so, that's so good. Love stamina bars. So we can sneak. There's another guy here. That's cool. Let's go see what this guy's up to. Mr. Mutt. Mr. Mutt. Uh, right. Return, I guess. So that's it. Oh, it's got to love that uh love that performance. So can we kill this pig? We can kill the pig. Die pig. Okay, so we killed this pig. And it just dies, I guess. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Right. I don't know, man. I don't... I, don't... I mean, they, there was a tutorial. I like that there was a tutorial, but... There doesn't seem to be any... Uh... I need an empty hand to harvest an item. So I harvested it. Excellent. And here's the build menu. All right. So it's all the uh, it's all the stuff that you would expect from a game like this. Um. We're going to explore the huge open world. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'll fast forward to s until we get to some content. Like, what is that? What is that? I can't even see what it is. It's a Gormling or something. Oh, there's a bunch of them. How much health do they have? I don't I don't even know if I'm if I'm doing any damage to them. I mean, did I kill them? Okay. I have no idea what's going on. There's a wolf. Right. Let's just go for a wander down the road and see what's see what's out there. Um, I guess we'll have that. So in case you're wondering what's going on, the uh, as I'm progressing towards the tree, the game is getting uh, very, very slideshowy. Like, basically getting to the point where I can't really play it. Also, the stamina bar means that it, everything is just taking way longer than it needs to. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll fast forward and uh, I, I just want, I want to get to the big uh, tree in the distance. And then that's it. And that's 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 all we're going to do. We're going to go look at the big tree in the distance. <laughs> Okay, so I was trying to get to the tree, um, and the the music is very relaxing, and there's nothing happening, and now the game seems to be crashing. Oh no, okay. So, we can continue our quest for the tree. It, it, I don't know, like it, is it, I'm wondering if it's procedurally generated or whatever, because I just keep, every time I think I'm getting close, I'm just... Uh, I, I am getting close. To, oh my god. See, it keeps doing this laggy, crashy thing. We may have to exit out. We may have to finish. Because... Okay. I don't know. We'll keep going a little bit longer. We'll keep going a little bit longer. 
We found some cool white trees and stuff. If we can get over this hill, oh no, this is this feels like an invisible wall. It is an invisible wall. Right. So we found an invisible wall, and we're gonna die from this fall. Oh no, we survived it. Why are these trees so white? Oh my god. That is like impossible to see with. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's quite pretty. It is quite the pretty sight. But. So the game was talking about going to the invisible tree. Or the. Not the invisible tree. The, um, the giant trees. But then it put an invisible wall in the way and made me deal with. Uh, a stupid. Stamina bar, which I hate. All right. Well, we're going to keep trying to get to that invisible... Uh, nothing, not invisible. It, it's just a big tree. Yeah, that's an invisible wall. So we can't, we can't actually get to the tree. Okay, well, uh, I think I've engaged with the game as much as I possibly can. Maybe it's time to go look at the description. Oh, is it going to let me climb this? Or did we hit the, in, did we hit the invisible wall? With Invisible Wall. Alright, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, Vosphia is a single player RPG set in a medieval fantasy world. Explore the vast world of Vosphia and meet dangerous enemies to fight. Build your own personalized base, craft and equip customized items, and create your own story in the world of Vosphia. So it is a, it is reasonably pretty and it is quite big, but like, like the thing said, there's nothing to do. Um, there's nothing to do, there's no story, there's no NPCs, there's nothing... That would make me want to play the game more. The music is quite nice, but yeah, um, not great. So we expect Vosphia to be in early access for around a year. Sure, they're gonna add our planned features and flesh out any bugs or features within the game. We plan on offering a bigger map. It's already too big, and more content within the game for a full version, along with other features that will enhance your experience. We also plan on fixing issues that may hinder your experience whilst playing the game. Sure. Um, early access currently includes basic systems that will shape the identity of Vosphia and has a sizable map. Early view of our planned combat along with abilities is included in the early access versions and numerous enemies who you can fight will also exist. Uh, so the price is going to go up after the early access period. It already costs 20 bucks, so... Uh, hey, you know, that's already a good deal. It's not. It's very expensive. Um, Explore the Vast World of Vosphia is a game where you can explore the beautiful world whilst experiencing game, various gameplay features such as building, crafting, fishing, farming, and more. Create your own personalized home, gather and craft, create your own story. Yeah, I mean, that's all the sort of stuff that you can get in any sort of asset pack. So, uh, crafting my own story... Building a house is just not that interesting to me. There's like a billion games that do it. You need to you need to bring us something new. The the one nice thing about the world is that it's big. It's kind of cool how big it is, but there's nothing in it. It's just a big empty world. Now, lots of people will say that it's early access, so you should be nice to it. And this is the sort of game where I will be nice to it. Um, and uh, and say that. It is early access, and you've obviously created quite a big, expansive world, but you've put nothing in it. So this is the sort of thing where you need to take it back off of early access, put some stuff in it, and make it into an actual game that people want to play. That's my advice. That's what I would say. Let's look at Vosphia Studio. First game, only game. Makes sense, given the name of the studio. Like I said, the map is cool. It is big. I liked the various environments and stuff. The enemies are uh, pretty bad. The colors, the color palette is a little bit, I don't know. It's got that sort of brown fall tone, I guess. It's fine. It's not worth 20 bucks, so I would avoid it. And if you're really interested, add it to your wish list or follow it by clicking on the link in the description and then picking it up way later. Hopefully when it hasn't raised its price too much. So that's what that's all I'm going to say. That's Vosphia. Hopefully you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.